Good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm Leila Ruete, CEO and co-founder of Eversense. We develop innovative solutions based on breath analysis to improve the life of millions of people suffering from respiratory diseases. As respiratory patient journey is quite complex, let me introduce you a good friend of mine, Ander, as an example. At the beginning of 2020, he was finding it difficult to breathe while doing routine tasks, and after a consultation with his GP, he was diagnosed with asthma, a chronic disease with no cure. As for diabetes, the main objective is to maintain the disease under control, so he was prescribed a background therapy along with a rescue medication in case of suffering an attack. At annual checkups, his doctor didn't notice any changes on his health status until one day when we were at cinema. He felt really bad, he couldn't breathe, he felt like he was going to die, and even if he tried his rescue medication, it didn't work, so we had to rush to emergency rooms where he was finally stabilized. Unfortunately, the situation... I don't know... Okay, now. Sorry about that. Unfortunately, the situation that we live with under is not uncommon because more than one million people suffer a respiratory attack every day and nearly 9,000 die as a result. And this is the most catastrophic event for respiratory patients because it's potentially mortal, but also because it's the main cause of lung function to decline, meaning loss of present and future quality of life. From an economical point of view, exacerbation must be avoided because they cause a huge burden on the sustainability of health systems. So the key question is, why do you continue to fail to reduce the number of attacks? And the answer is here. If we analyze the patient journey, the risk factor of suffering an attack remains unknown almost the whole time. Why? Because the most common source of information are symptoms like cough, sort of breath, but they poorly correlate with exacerbation risk. And in fact, the main indicator for determining risk factor, which is airway inflammation, is not assessed in the 80% of, of patients at consultation, nor when they are on their daily lives. And it's quite a silly thing trying to manage a chronic disease with yearly visits, while changes in patient status occur in a matter of days. So wouldn't it wonderful if we can have this information on daily basis with something that patients can use at home easily? The reality is that nobody has achieved that, and this is because current devices and technologies are expensive, are bulky, and require a practitioner to conduct the test. So today, I'm very excited to show you a revolutionary product this is the day we've been looking forward after years of intense work of research and development, so let me introduce you Evernoa Mini. This is the first and unique device that will bring airway inflammation analysis to your home, because as you can see here, it's small, it's compact, and it's very, very easy to be used by anyone, anywhere. So let me show you how a breath analysis look li looks like. So you just need a disposable th filter, your mobile phone and just breathing through the device like this. And this is all. In just a few seconds, my airway inflammation is assessed and the information is sent to our cloud platform. And it allows us to determine several risk factors. So now this information is shared with the clinician and to the patient. So let's see how the patient journey could change. A personalized diagnosis and treatment selection is possible by measuring airway inflammation at GP consultation. And based on the evolution of this parameter over the time at home, remonitoring, I mean, uh, we can inform the clinician that the patient is not responding positively to the treatment. So he finds out that under, in fact, uh, his inhalation technique is not correct, so they improve that. And after that, once again, based on the evolution of the airway inflammation that you can see here that it's subsiding, we provide the clinician very important information about three things. And they're irresponding to the treatment positively, the inhalation technique has been fixed, and he's adhering to the treatment. So he is sure now that the risk of suffering and exacerbation is decreased. 
And at the end of the day, with the feedback that we provide to the patient, Ander is also aware that he's doing things well. So for the first time, clinical decisions about how to reduce the risk of suffering an attack are data-driven and patients are engaged to take the control of their disease. We don't compete over the current market share. We expand the total market share from specialized care, where currently airway inflammation is assessed, like for example with our device Evernoa Base, which was launched in 2020, but we will reach underserved markets like primary care, where more than 530 people are treated, and the virgin segments of pharmacies and home care. The total addressable market is 9.1 billion euros, but it's a very conservative estimation because we have only taken into account the current markets with already reimbursements approved and only the already diagnosed population. But we need to take into account two things. The 50% of respiratory patients remain underdiagnosed and the prevalence is increasing. So we will see a growing in the next year in this market. And we align the interests of payants, providers, and payers with our business model that allows to reduce the total cost of treatments. We have our B2B or B2B2C software as a service, have hardware as a service because it's adaptable and it covers and fits the current reimbursement schemes. We have a complementary team with global experience. Our CBO who accompanies me today has more than 20 years of experience in the medical device sector, and I have more than 10 years in the field too, and we are supported by an incredible team. We have strategic alliances in place. We are collaborating with AstraZeneca and with several hospitals of great prestige to accelerate the adoption of the Bernoulli solution. And those teams are led by key opinion leaders in the field of respiratory diseases. And we have also a brilliant board, sorry because I have passed the slide, but well, and all of this has allowed us to achieve important milestones. We are commercial, we are selling in more than 14 countries with the first device that we launched in 2020. And today, with Evernoa Mini, we are providing a game changer because for the first time, respiratory patients won't be alone in managing their disease because we can provide them the support they need to take the control of the disease. And all our technology is protected by our strong IP portfolio, and we have achieved all that, assuring attractive margins for all the value stakeholders. So now we are ready to take the company to the next level, to become the leader in airway inflammation analysis. So today, here, we are starting our Series R round. We are raising 5 million euros to deploy the complete Evernoise solution and reach the target geographies. So if you want to join us in our journey to improve the life of millions of people, we'll be delighted to talk to you later. So thank you. <laughs>